This is YBR with Creed. I also see it sometimes titled as The Creed, but in the game it titled itself as Creed. Uh, it's from Russia as far as I know, at least the developers, uh, their website is .ru, which stands for Russia. As are the developer, I mean, as are the publishers, both of them are like that. Alright, so I'm gonna uh, just let this intro go. I think it looks pretty nice. It's a 2004 game, for reference. That's the only part that really looks nice. This part doesn't look as nice. Then again, space games are easy to look nice, it seems like to me. Like, even the oldest space games, I'll be like, oh, that looks pretty nice. It's not using sprites. I don't know. It's going through all the credits, and if this really is all the people who made it, that's only like a dozen people who made this entire game, which would be from, uh, I'm not sure how to properly pronounce this, but, oh, I'll let them talk. I forgot there was voice here. A rebellion on Regitanus. However, its organizer managed to escape. You know him well. It is the great master Tafras Drumi. Wild boss, you must punish the traitor. You and some other dedicated agents will go to Creed. Theophrast Rumi is hiding there. But to go there, he must have known the way to get out. Rumi is hiding something that makes it possible to get out of Creed. And we really need to know what it is. Aspera have been prepared for the mission. It is discussed as a trade ship so that our allies, the Confederation, will not suspect us. You will pass the quarantine zone, and then, once you reach the borders, you will alter your course saying you have problems with the ship. I hope we'll be back. Yeah, there's three people who did the voices, that's our it. sensors have registered violation of Creed Barrier. The violator is a trade ship named... Oh wait, no, there's more than that. Correction of the English text. Matthew failed miserably on this. I gotta show off what how bad is one of the text thing is. I mean, the, the fact that they actually hired a guy specifically for that, or maybe he was part of the other parts of the team, in which case, I forgive him. But if he was hired just for that, he failed miserably. Uh... That'll be about where I end is where I show off how badly he failed at that if he but if he's like from Russia and you know he's like I kind of know I mostly know English you know I, I'm like I, that's cool it's pretty good then but if he was like specifically outsourced for that that's terrible all right so uh, I'm in Creed a, myst a mysterious anomaly that no one has yet returned from a sparrow is seriously damaged and it has been attacked by Spigs or spy I don't know how to pronounce that it's like kind of like German sounding maybe I don't know. Imagine a German person saying that word. A primitive race of space marauders. Their, your primary task now is to find the survivors. Alright, so you got a knife. You got a room. There's a thing right there you can pick up. Ampules, which is a health pack thing you have to feed yourself, basically. Uh, one little detail I, I noticed that looked really cool is uh, not here because this broke, okay? But if you go to a different room, say this one. Oh, this one's broken too. Oh well, well, some of the rooms, those things wiggle. The pipes wiggle if it's not broken. And everybody leaves their stove on in this thing. Everybody's just like, oh, f yeah, fuck it. Yeah, let's have my stove on right now. Okay, maybe it was a glitch, but the pipes were wiggling, I swear to you. I like that. It looked like a feature, but it was a glitch maybe. I don't know. Alright, so you got... Can't go there. Can't go here. There's one of those things... Trying to escape. Alright, so they're dead. We can go into their rooms. See, this one's wiggling. There we go. It's just the ones that are turned on, I guess, or something. But I think it looks nice how they wiggle. 
Yeah, there's a dead guy. Can't hurt him or anything. Can't, like, cut his body up and eat it or something. It's normal to think that, right? Right? Shit. Um, it's not. Oh, there's some health I, I missed. And, uh, that should be everything here. I mean, anyways, this game was, seems like it's made by, like, a dozen people at Burit. Who also made Uber Soldier, which is another game I might do something for someday. Uh, but it appears they're dead, as far as I'm, I know. Burit, the developers, are dead. They have... Their website's still up. But the forums are broken, at least they were when I checked. And they haven't updated it, it seems like, since like 06. And they had a game planned for 08, but it doesn't look like it ever came out, so I'm pretty sure they're dead. Uh, you can't go this way, you'll burn and die. Uh, the game does have some dark spots. This is running at the default brightness. So, yeah. Alright, so there's a dead end, obviously. So you can backtrack and see, you know, maybe I went the wrong way. Something like that. Still the dead end. You can go through here. And you can kind of bunny hop in this game. Can't go through there. Can't go through there. So, obviously, you have to go the other way. And uh, it took me a minute to figure it out at first. So what you're supposed to do is look at that the little hole this game is really dark though i mean i don't i don't ever up the brightness because the way i'm think i think of things it's like i want to show the game the way that the people who made it think thought how it should be you know feel free to like up the brightness on your monitor or something i sometimes do that for some games this one's up just a bit just so i can see easier but i don't want it to be upped in the upload just because that kind of like it tarnishes it in a way that feels like it. Like, sure, it could technically make it better, but it doesn't properly represent the game in a way. I don't know. Uh, so here's a dead guy who had a shotgun. How did you manage to die when you had a shotgun on you, man? You're pathetic. I don't know. Go in here. Command room with, like, a sky ceiling that glitches out. I like that glitch feature. It looks funny, but good. Here's something. Uh, you got this, too. It's like 0101. Zero, one, zero, one. When it goes to letters, it literally looks like someone just slammed their face across their keyboard and said, All right, uh, that's good. Zero ones, they, they're, you know, that's uh, binary, so that's fine. Uh, you could use this laptop and it tells you a little bit about stuff. Uh, it's basically, it tells you the whole thing. You faked losing control of your ship and, you know, now you're going there. Uh, you could read it if you paused. If not, oh, you're fucked, man. You better rewind or some shit. And so you can go over here. There's some trees. But no, you're getting shot at because these ones have guns. These ones don't fuck around. Alright, so he's dead and there's still that one. Who is patiently waiting his turn to die. How polite. You can pick up the health vials. You hear a growl here, like there's one across that door, but as far as I know, you never go there. Right, so you, you get a diary thing you could read, so it's just, again, some more thing. I'm not going to really go through them much, because there's nothing too interesting about it. It's uh, mostly backstory, and I could summarize it if I ever do a Let's Play for it. But for now, it's not essential for me to read it aloud. You could pause and read it if you're interested. At least as far as I'm concerned. Alright, so here we go. Some more stuff you can read. Pause it. It's about the enemies. Uh, basically saying they are low-life people type thing. Who live based off of uh, pillaging and attacking and drug trading or some shit like that. Something like that. I can kind of remember what that one said at least. Alright, this guy has a gun. You can kind of strafe them and get and dodge the gunshot, it seems. About half the time. He should be dead about now, shouldn't he? There we go. Took more shots than I expected. Uh, one thing I haven't done that I should show off is... Every screen you see... You can break them. Just just cuz. You know, fuck you, screen. I can, I can break you, I have a knife. Uh, another diary entry, here it is. I don't actually remember what this one said at all. So, yeah. I hear some lights. 
you can jump through them and they get you slightly hurt. If you jump fast enough, you don't get hurt even though you like see it looks like you get hurt. Like I still have 59, I had 59 when I jumped into it. I don't know. Uh, right. Anyways, let's go this way. This is to the arsenal, it says on the sign, if you uh, pause to read it. You know, not physically pause, but like stop to look. Alright, so they're both dead. I can go ahead and reload. And here's another health vial. And this guy has a shotgun and a one of these. A basic uh, SMG type thing. I don't know if it actually has a title to it, but that's that. And if you actually pay attention, I'm assuming these are the weapons you get late in the game. But they're just sitting in those things. You can see them visibly. At least I assume those are the same ones you'd use. Why would they model them out just to not use them, you know? It's illogical. Alright, so you really don't go this way except unless you want to get this gun. Otherwise, there's no point. You can go here too, but the same thing. There's no point in really going here. Oops. Ah, oh, I missed twice. Whoa, back off. Back off me. Alright. Uh, oh, there, actually here there is this, uh, has some information on, uh, I don't remember this one actually either, I, I was too busy blowing up all the screens in this room to read it. Hopefully you read it if you had an interest, otherwise, uh, yeah, I don't take too much interest in this story so far, I don't know. Access denied. Activate emergency module. So, what do you think, we probably go into the computer room and find the emergency, nope, 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 you go this way. Whoops, no. This way. And thanks to me having my brightness turned up, I can easily see that there is a hole you go in right here. So you go in that, and it gives you a chance to say, Oh, my health is low. Let's pop a soda can and heal. Because that's really what it sounds like to me. It sounds like somebody's drinking a soda can or something. Alright, we're going to quick save. Don't think I'll need it, but just in case. And uh, let's show off the other gun. It has a scope you can use. It seems more powerful when you're scoped in versus unscoped, but it shoots much slower. Those things are weird. I don't know what they are exactly. They explode the fuck up though when you kill them. Right, you don't need to go that far. You can just use this and it opens or closes a door. Ah! Getting attacked. Alright, um, but... You could use this and it opens or closes the door. You can see on the little screen. And it has unlocked or locked. I'm going to go ahead and go down here though. Just because there's uh, some ammunition I think it was. I remember there's something. I'm pretty sure it was ammunition. Explode that motherfucker. Like this is hecka dark. Even with my screen light turned up. Uh, it's hard to see. Alright, yeah, I got some pellets, which is shotgun ammunition, I guess. I just assume that. I don't know for sure. See, this game, you can get moving if you bunny hop. Not, I'm sure if you were good at bunny hopping, you'd be able to get moving any, even better, but I'm just average at it. If even... Especially when I'm switching game engine to game engine where it's always different. I think this is running on an engine called, like, the Extend Engine, I believe? Uh, which, uh, it's not what you usually see most of the time. I don't see this engine much. Usually it's different engines, but yeah, it's a different engine. Um, which is interesting, I guess. I like this engine, though, overall. I mean, it has bunny hopping. I like bunny hopping. I like this engine. Simple as that. I did leave the door open, right? I didn't just... Oh, darn it. Oh, I did open it. Okay, good. I would laugh so hard if I was too busy showing it off to actually remember to lock it. Alright, there we are. I don't know, I, it's an American thing, I bet, but every time I see these doors, I think a light socket. Like, boom, boom, boom. That's an American light socket right there. I mean, other countries, of course, have different ones. US, it has a three prong one, a circular in the middle. And two vertical ones just like that, pretty much, I think. Let me look at my wall. Yes, it is exactly like that. I am not crazy. Additionally, they are also 
this shape. So that's funny. I mean, it just looks like a fucking uh, electric plug to me, you know? Uh, anyways, go ahead and move up. And that's the end of the level. That'll be the end of what I show off. Uh, and if I do do a Let's Play, I will actually get into the story of it. But here is the part where I want to say their text, English, English text guy is pretty terrible unless he's natively Russian, which I forgive because he knows more languages than I know then. Well, actually, if he can translate it, he knows more than I do because my translation would be run through Google. Air one. All are going to stay here. But there is no return from Creed. Air two. One more thing, Daniel. We failed to stop the reactors. The radiation is going to kill us soon. Go find your main terminal and switch it off. Air three. Two of the airs. I forgot about that magnificent gag. Two of the errors are just incorrect wording. One of them is from is spelt as form. It's just like, if they specifically hired a guy for that, I'd be pissed. Alright, you have a chance to escape yet. Okay, that's kind of bad too. It kind of doesn't make sense. Uh, he said that you had to block the reactors in order to keep the spaceship from destroying. Destroying what? Destroying itself. Like the English got worse. I swear, in the earlier, in the first part, everything was pretty much perfect. But I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't paying enough attention earlier. Maybe they were all bad. Anyways, like I said, if I do do a let's play, it's based on request, as always. And if I do one, I'll be more into the story and actually read stuff aloud. It's just for a gameplay video. That seems awkward. Uh, until next time, Smyrna. Bye bye.